what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back here we are once again with another reaction to haiku season 2 episode 15 and 16 today uh yeah so we're getting into the tournament first match here ready to go teams are heating up they're ready to go we got the cheerleaders in the cheerleading sections for their individual teams and I am ready. You know, I talked a lot during that last episode. Hope you guys didn't mind. I know you guys don't mind. You guys have said that multiple times. But I still think there are some people out there that leave the... They they, they, they tend to leave that um, occasional comment of me talking too much. But, um, you know, I know most of you guys don't mind. A lot of you guys have said that. You like when I expound and talk about you know, my past and my experience with volleyball, um, because I believe that that's what a reaction should be. You get what I'm saying? Sometimes there's going to be episodes that are intense enough that I have nothing to comment on. So I won't really say anything during it, but I think for the most part, I try to keep it in perspective as in what's going on in the anime at the time and what I should speak on and what I should not like. You know, sometimes a match is so intense and it may be something that I've said before, so I'm not going to say it again. You get what I'm saying? So I'm not going to say anything. But at the same time, I'm really, really enjoying this anime, man. This anime has really brought back some very good memories for me of playing team sports. Um, you know, I never played any individual sports. I never played like tennis or or anything like that um, back in the day. It was always a team sport. You know what I mean? So for me, it was just like bringing back those memories of um, actually while I was, you know, out and stuff like that, because, you know, I've been gone for a while. While I was out, I actually got in contact with um, a couple of my teammates from back in the day. Right. And, you know, I was telling them about, you know, that I'm watching Haikyuu, you know what I'm saying? I watched Ippo and stuff like that. And they're telling me about the same animes that you guys are telling me about. Slam Dunk, Kuroko, and all of these other team anime, um, team sport animes, you know what I'm saying? Basketball animes, baseball animes that I need to watch, and all this other stuff. And these are all sports that I like, you know what I'm saying? These are all sports that I, that I grew up playing, you know what I'm saying? So... Um, I'm going to be, you know, checking those out. I still don't know if I'm going to be doing slam dunk next after I catch up with Haikyuu. I don't know yet. I see the comments and you guys are hoping, but it's all depends on a vote guys. I'm going to put every time an anime finishes on the channel, um, we're going to fill that category. So now we're doing a sports anime. We're doing an action anime, which is going to take me a while to catch up with, which is JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Of course, when Full Metal Alchemist finishes, I don't know what we're going to replace that with. I don't know yet what category, maybe a mystery drama kind of um, I'm going for, I guess, with that one. So maybe we can do something in that category um, when it comes on to Yu Yu Hakusho, which um, I'm finishing up, you know, um, yeah, when it comes on to Yu Yu Hakusho, which I don't have, I think it's like 11 episodes I have left to, um, to react to. So, um, so between that time, it's definitely going to be like, we already know that Yu Yu Hakusho is a classic. I do not know what classic anime is going to replace, replace that. I can't guarantee you guys anything. I can't. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. But anyways, I'm enjoying Haikyuu for now. That is my intro. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying yourself watching me. Don't forget to hit that like button. Um, don't forget to comment. I will remind you in the review, too. So, remember that. See you guys for the review. All right, so it looks like at the end of episode 16, left leaving on a cliffhanger there, seems like the captain, Mr. Daichi himself, has been injured. Hopefully, it's not something too bad. You know what I'm saying? 
hopefully it's just like, you know, he just banged his head or something, but he, he's not moving. I don't know if they're just doing that for dramatic effect, um, but he's not moving. So I'm hopefully that he's okay and it's not something like life threatening or some shit like that because that wouldn't be good. And I think story wise, story wise, it's good for the story. It's good for the story. You know, if they go into the realm of somebody getting critically injured or career ending, you get what I'm saying? Like something like that. I would really, really like this anime would jump from, I would say, a, a level um, one to a level 10 for me. And that's just hype. I'm, I'm just giving you hypothetical numbers. It's not like I have it at a level one right now. I'm just saying like it would jump from a level one to a level. It would ten, it would jump 10 notches for me if they do something like that, because you get what I'm trying to say? Like it would be the first time that you would actually experience the stakes of sports in this anime because that is actually you know the reality is that when you play sports that is one of the things that it's like a taboo in sports you don't want to see people get injured you don't want to get injured you get what i'm saying so it's like when you see people get injured it's like you you feel like something happened it feel like something has been torn away from the game you know regardless of if the player is a superstar or whether they're just a regular member of the team playing, you know what I'm saying? Um, regardless of who it is, you know what I'm saying? Like the respect is always there and nobody wants to see that whether you're playing for this team or the opposing team. You have some people that are nasty um, enough to purposely injure other players and stuff like that. But in terms of a, of a situation like this kind of sport, no, it's not a contact sport. So it's not, you get what I'm saying? It, it's not a contact sport. So nobody, a, an opponent is not going to be responsible for you getting injured um, in a sport like this. You get what I'm saying? So, um, so I think that this is going to be a, a very, um, a moment where either the team is going to come together to finish out this match without him. You know, as I said, I'm hoping, Hopefully, I'm hoping that it's not something career ending because they can't afford to lose Daichi as a team member right now. You just can't afford Daichi and Noya is the two best receivers on the team. If they lose those two, you're basically losing half of your defense on the back line. Really can't afford to have that. Yes, somebody can step up but you're not going to be as effective as Daichi. You know what I'm saying? Like losing him is losing a big part of the team right now. So hopefully um, right now they're in a tough match. You know what I'm saying? If I should say so, I think they're in a, in a very competitive match. This is one of the top schools in the prefecture. So they should be able, uh, I think this is going to be a tough match for them going forward. Um, it's yet to be seen. If Daichi, if Daichi is okay enough to come back into the match, I think they could, they could finish this match without him. I'm going to say that. I think that this injury might inspire them to play even better and focus even better. But at the same time, if he comes back, it would be even better for them. But I don't think they're going to lose this match um based on this injury i don't think they need to i think this school is beatable without daichi i really do think so i think they have enough things in their arsenal to actually beat this team it's gonna be tough but i think they can do it right so that's all i have to say for that hopefully daichi is okay man it it, it was not it, it was not looking good but it's okay anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man can't wait to watch the next episodes whenever i get to them um, whenever I get to them. But anyways, thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to comment and also review, review, review. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I don't know what, what I was. I just had a brain freeze. But anyways, I'll catch you guys later, man. Peace.